Hello, and welcome to Whatcom County Update. I'm Mitch. Indiscreetly. And I'm Mona. Abundantly. Update is brought to you by the good people of Lotte. Republic. Apparently, sweeps are just around the corner. In this program, we will be mapping out the latest minefield into which the Whatcom County Council has stumbled. Oh, bollocks. Can I kindly get a camera angle that doesn't place me in competition for the viewer's attention with Mona's ratings boosting bust line? Thank you. Oh, yours is a rapier wit, isn't it? Moving right along to our story on the County Council. Shall we hear more of your comedy genius first? I am terribly sorry. Are you sure? Nothing more about my ratings boosters? Again, terribly sorry. Also, we are on the air. Shall I proceed then? Oh, by all means. Jolly good. The Wacom County Council has been told by legal advisors to send the so-called rural element of its comprehensive plan to the County Planning Commission for a hearing. This is problematic on many levels, you see. The earliest that the Planning Commission can hold the hearing is April 28th, and the Growth Management Hearings Board is going to review the progress, or more to the point, the lack thereof, made by the County at its own hearing on the 14th. The County has already been given a 90-day extension of time by the Growth Management Hearings Board, and that extension expired on March 29th. The board has no intention of changing its schedule to allow the county more time. At a recent county council meeting, council member Tony Larson pitched what some witnesses called a hissy fit over the fact that the state hearings board is composed of political appointees. Oddly enough, Mr. Larson has lodged no public complaints and thrown no childlike tantrums about sending the rural element before the political appointees that happened to serve on the County Planning Commission. And now, on the lighter side of things, an update on that ghastly new film. Atlas Shrugged. Apparently, sometime this week, the Mount Baker Theatre will serve as host to Republicans, tens upon tens of them, as they screen the monumentally awful movie adaptation of the even more monumentally awful Anne Rand novel. Atlas Shrugged. In an entirely futile attempt at spin, the producers of the film have announced an increase in the number of screenings for its premiere week, from a humiliatingly small 11 screens to a somewhat less humiliatingly small 275 screens. Update has learned from sources which I am becoming convinced that our producers have simply made up that this increase in distribution of Atlas Shrugged is based on two factors. First, initial reports that projection equipment spontaneously self-combusts when playing the film itself have been proven to be wrong. As it turns out, the utterly revolting clouds of fetid smoke emitted by the projectors are actually a physical manifestation of the awfulness inherent in the movie itself. The residue from this loathsome discharge causes no lasting damage to any projection equipment. Also, the Center for Disease Control has filed an official report based on tests of the noxious fumes. The report asserts that the gas may be undeniably revolting, but that in terms of health risk, the mixture is, quote, only mildly carcinogenic, end quote. The second factor that may have influenced the expanded release of this film is due to the fact that these very same offensive and eye-watering fumes have inspired interest from a most unexpected demographic. Women with eating disorders. Reports that film critics were still projectile vomiting for days after enduring early screenings of Atlas Shrugged have generated a great deal of media buzz among the very many self-loathing women in North America. One profoundly and tragically bulimic girl went on record to say, quote, if this movie is anywhere near as bad as I have heard, I will be able to eat dessert before seeing it. 
Does this ribcage make me look fat? End quote. I must say, if this allegedly light-sided story goes on any further, I may kill myself. So now, the weather. I suppose it will rain a bit. At times there may be sunshine. And cloudy bits from time to time. As well as a spot of wind on occasion. Well, this is a bit of a rubbish weather forecast, isn't it? I concur. This has been Wacom County Update. I moan abundantly. And I am apparently being summoned by human resources. Again, thank you for visiting Lotte Republic.